but you need someone to propel you in terms of marketing and PR and just to be able to have a national presence. So when people talk about cup up, then people say, yeah, I know it. And I think I can provide that better than anybody because I do have that national platform and, and I can get word out there better. What I would do is a million dollars of straight equity. I like 7% and my commitment is though, I can help you just scale this thing in terms of visibility and PR. Mark, would you be able to do 1 million straight equity for four and a half percent? I'd go five and a half percent is my lowest. One million equity for five percent. All right, I'll do five percent. Man, Cut Bob dropped the ball fast to Shaq trying to dribble with Parkinson's. Mark Cuban inked the deal with Cut Bob trading one million dollars for five percent equity, but there's three huge problems. Robert uh -oh. offered Cut Bob five million dollars. I think the business is worth about 18 uh, million today. I want to own a bigger piece, but I'll give you five million for 28. Kevin O'Leary offered them one million for three percent, which is exactly what they asked for. I'm going to loan you the million dollars. I'm going to put a 10% interest rate on it. Put all I can bring to it as Chef Wonderful and all the rest of that stuff, and you have a Shark Tank deal. <laughs> Lori and Barbara teamed up to give him $1 million. And you know what? I'd do it with Barbara if Barbara wants to do it with me. I would love to do it. I've done a deal with your dog That's age. right. We haven't. So Lori and I will give you 5% for a million dollar loan. We'll go in together. So before I reveal the huge problem with the Cup Bop Mark Cuban deal, let me show you exactly why Cup Bop chose Mark over the other shark. The issue with Lori and Barbara's offer is that they wanted 30% for only $1 million, which is way too much equity. Plus, their worth is way more than that. Protect your assets. The problem with Robert is that he wanted 28% for $5 million, but the equity is just way too high. Plus, he doesn't have as much success with restaurants as the other sharks. Protect your assets. Before Mark, let's talk Kevin O'Leary's deal. It was exactly what they came in there for, which was 3% for $1 million. On top of that, he actually has more success in the restaurant industry than most of the sharks. So why did Cut Bop reject him? It's simple. Most contestants just don't like Kevin. Now, I would have told Mark Cuban to purchase a GPS or map from the devil because there's no way in hell I would have took that deal. On the surface, 5% for $1 million just don't look too bad, but Cutbox is breaking records. And they only partnered with Mark solely because of his name. Fame just does not equal success. But me, I wouldn't even win on the show. I would have tossed up a marketing campaign that would have pulled in a million dollars faster than a flash drink and a monster energy drink. Keep all of your equity, people. If these leeches ain't took your cash yet, subscribe so I can help you protect your assets.